What's going on guys? Here I'm with Hardy Tech and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum Part 1. Today we will be starting our journey in the core or region, not core. And um, before, right out of the way, I know people are going to ask, I want to make this very clear. I am playing on an actual GameCube. I am recording using an HD PVR. It is a recording device and... I just wanted to point that out because I know people are going to be thinking I'm doing this on an emulator. And if you actually think my computer is good enough to be playing GameCube emulators, that's hilarious because I could barely do Game Boy emulators. So you, you guys are so silly, but right off the bat, want to get that out of the way. This is like a physical copy of Coliseum, a real GameCube and everything. That's how I'm doing it, so please don't ever ask again. Okay, thank you. On with the magical cutscenes. Yay. This is actually like one of my favorite Pokemon games. I remember getting Colosseum shortly after I first started playing Pokemon because um, uh, my first Pokemon games were Ruby and Sapphire. So, actually I think it was just Ruby, but I never experienced like the Johto or the Kanto games. And so playing this and like seeing all these Johto Pokemon and seeing Umbreon and Embryon, to be fair, I knew who the Pokemon were because I did watch the Johto anime and the Kanto anime. Although, like, my first memories of the anime were the Johto anime. I don't remember watching the original series, but I'm sure I did. I don't really know, but, um... So, being able to go back and, like, play with all these Pokemon was really cool, and being able to get the Johto starters was something I always, like, I really liked. And I don't actually know which Johto starter I'm going to be picking, because I'm going to be leaving that up to you guys. Um, in the next episode, we'll be catching our Johto starter, and you guys will be telling me which one I should get, whether it be Croconaw, Bayleaf, or Kolava. I believe my personal favorite out of those three is Bayleaf. I love Bayleaf for some reason, but anyways, we will get to that at a later point. We are now arrived at this weird train station thing, and it's not actually very specific what you're supposed to be doing here. So unless you just like, you're that kind of person that talks to everybody, it could be very hard to know. But anyways, Fwah! we sure picked out, eh? I love chewing down after a job. It adds to the flavor, I swear. Hee hee hee, and we bragged ourselves a great big catch too. Boss will be sure to fix up up with good rewards too. Hee hee, it doesn't really get any better than this. Let's get in our weird floating car and fly away because this is totally the future. Uh, it's a really beat up floating car, but don't question our logic. I wish I had a fancy floating car. I don't even care if it was beat up, but anyways, as I was saying, um, we're not going to be able to get to what I was saying yet because we got more dialogue. Yay, fancy TV time. Everything's so fancy in this game. I love it. Authorities made a stunning announcement on a mysterious building that exploded in the Apollo Canyon. Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a game of Pokemon inductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time the police arrived, the ruined building has been already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should be apparent eventually. Let's say everything weird, yay! Okay, anyways, this is the part of the game where, like, if you don't know what to do, it can be very confusing. You actually have to go all the way back here and talk to this dude. You're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? Hey, hey, I can tell, and you're good, I can see it in your eyes. I bet you your Pokemon are impressive, too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. Hey, hey, I thought I, although I doubted I had any chance of beating you, well, that's such, such a good outlook on life, sir. You get a cookie. He just automatically accepts defeat. Anyways, after you talk to him, you can already walk right back on outside. And before you go anywhere, he's going to be like, Yo, wait, wait up. I need to get beat. I need you to beat me. Beat me real good. My name's Willie. After I got a good look at you, well, I got the urge to battle you. It's like I, I'm compiled to, man. Anyway, I look at it, it's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So yeah, I'm obviously a character. Pay attention. So what do you say? You, it's you and me have a quick battle. All right. Yeah, that's the spirit. All right, all right, over here, this way. Now, for the zero people who have absolutely no idea what Pokemon Coliseum is, it uh, is a Pokemon game with a unique twist because every battle, at least in the, as far as the story goes, is a double battle. So, unless you and your opponent both get down to one Pokemon each, then it becomes a single battle. But um, it's I, I think they were like really, really trying to push the double battle aspect because double battle was introduced in third generation. And there wasn't that many of them in Ruby and Sapphire, uh, besides like very occasional ones. And then in Emerald, they like took the double battle idea and they very violently shoved it down your throat. So um, in this game, you start off with an Espeon who's level 25 and an Umbreon who I believe is 26 or 27. I don't remember. We'll have to wait and, and look at the levels. So this once again, oh, it's actually no, that's 26. I thought I was 28 at first. Um, 
this is the first time I'm doing a Let's Play where I'm looking at my TV instead of my computer, so it's like my TV is a, a few feet away from me instead of like a few inches that my computer screen normally is, so it it's an exciting new experience. But um, that's another way that this game is a lot different from the normal main series games because normally you get one Pokemon that's level 5 and it's not evolved, and this one you get a freaking Umbreon and an Espeon and they're already like in their 20s, but um, this game doesn't have like a lot of... Like, it doesn't have, like, a very high level curve. Like, for the most part, I think you start off in the mid-20s and the game ends in, like, the 50s. So, it's like you're starting about the 4th or 5th gym, and then you're just playing to the end of, like, a main series game. So, it's, uh, it, it you don't have to do a lot of grinding, which is something I really like. Mainly because there's n pretty much nowhere to grind besides Mount Battle, which we'll get to that later. Uh, because there's no wild Pokemon in this game, the only Pokemon you can catch belong to other trainers. Sorry if that's spoilers for some of you, but seriously, if you like don't know anything about this game, this is your first time ever experiencing Pokemon Coliseum, well, I hope I can give a good impression for you, but um, it's a pretty amazing game. And if you ever have the chance, I don't know if it's on Virtual Console on Wii. I know nothing about Virtual Console. I don't even know if GameCube games are released on that, but... um. If you ever get the chance to play Pokemon Coliseum, like if you if your computer is good enough to run Dolphin Emulator, I definitely suggest playing Coliseum and Gale of Darkness. Although I haven't played Gale of Darkness before, so I can't comment on that. And once again, they don't notice the random dude just standing behind him. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this it won't stop squirming. Makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. Help! Somebody let me out. Kidnappers. <laughs> the tape didn't keep her yap shut. That's why you gotta use extra strong duct tape, turning no, no, no into mm, mm, mm. That was weird. Hey, quit your shouting. Oh, Drat, that, did that punk there hear all that? Oh my god, they just dropped it like a sack of potatoes. Oh, it is just a sack of potatoes, never mind. Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own battle luck. So if I just lose this battle, do I just, like, agree to not talk? Because I could simply just go to the cops after I lose... That's one thing I never understood about, I know it's Poke logic. I shouldn't be pointing this out, but how come if you lose a battle, you just like give up all your motives? Like, Team Rocket, they expect, oh, if we beat this kid, he's just totally gonna quit and go home forever. And if you beat Team Rocket, like, if you just happen to beat Giovanni, he's like, oh, you beat me, I'll just cancel my evil plans. It's like, no, just, you lost a, ba a battle, big freaking deal. Go on with your evil plans, who's gonna care? I don't think anyone's gonna like bitch about that, so. I'm sorry, Pokologic, you never, ever, ever question Pokologic, but I can't help but do it here because it's just so annoying. But, um, anyways, this game starts off really, really easy. I mean, you got Wizmers and Zigzagoons, so, um, a little interesting fact. I, I actually just thought of this. You cannot actually catch, I believe you can't actually catch any third gen Pokemon in here. I think it is only second gen Pokemon under Shadow Pokemon. And I know people are probably going to point out Plusle, but Plusle is a gift Pokemon, you don't catch it. So, uh, yeah, I think all the all these Shadow Pokemon in this game are actually 2nd Gen Pokemon. So, the reason why they did this was, um, when you move... For, I'm going to go on a little history right here, for those of you who might be interested. Um, I know a lot of you probably all noticed, and I might have some of my facts wrong, but... When 3rd Generation was released, the Game Boy Advance had no way of connecting with the Game Boy Color and the original Game Boys, so 1st and 2nd Generation Pokemon, there was no way to transfer those into 3rd Generation games. How part of this was remedied with, was with the Fire Red and Leaf Green remakes, which brought back all the 1st Generation Pokemon and some of the 2nd Generation Pokemon into 3rd Generation. And they also had Colosseum, which brought a lot of 2nd Generation Pokemon into the 3rd Generation, because you could transfer them from this game into your main series game. So, you were able to get the starters, you were able to get, like, Mistrevious and Quagsire, and I'm gonna go play with this bag now, because I was completely ignoring the game. The sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knitted nope. Undo the knot. Can't we just leave her in there forever? That seems like it makes her some pretty weird, but pretty kinky bondage. So, I'm sorry, that's weird. Phew, thank goodness I'm saved. Yay, what, what is my reward? Do I get a hug or a kiss or, or what's going on? Where is this? Where did these two bring me? This is Phoenix City, the opulent city of water. The person saved you from the, this person saved you from these thugs. Does anybody really care about the dialogue? It's not exactly like groundbreaking here. The way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Thank you, and uh, you are. Oh, so you're named Hardy. I am. Well, I already made a promise as to what I'm gonna name this because uh, I was given this GameCube and this copy of game by a friend of mine, and I promised her I would name the female character after her. So. 
This character is... Some of you can probably already tell where this is going. Lisa! Friend, for those of you who seem to be asking, no, Lisa and I are not dating. We never were, like, going out. We went on one date, so we're not dating. And I know some people are, like, freaking out when I mention that girl in McDonald's, and everyone's like, what about Lisa? Oh, my God, no! But, yeah, so you guys got to stop overreacting. Just saying. Well, it's easy to remember. I don't even know who's talking at this point. You should go see the mayor for advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure he'll be able to help you out somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square, and it's on your left. Thank you. Mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey, Hardy. I am. I know I'm imposing, but I have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I come with you and escort me? No, get away. Oh, but those men might come back. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Please, can I come to stick with you for a while? Oh, my God, fine. But I expect, like, a lot of sandwiches, man. Thank you, Hardy. <laughs> I thought you might say that. I said no originally, you dumb... Oh, I want to say it. If you're with me, Hardy, it won't matter if those guys come back. Because it's totally not like I won't just hand you over. You're, I really don't want you to like, be responsible for you. And you really forced me into this situation. i got to say I don't appreciate it. So, anyways, this is a new characteristic. Uh, kind of following Pokemon Yellow, I guess. And the fact that you have some annoying bitch following you around. Except, you know, in Pokemon Yellow, you actually like Pikachu. So, that's cool. Anyways, here comes this guy with, like, tentacle hairs. I swear, he's probably, like, some form of... I... I know there's going to be some weird hente of this guy. I could just tell looking at his hair. That's like porn artist. They're just like orgasming looking at this picture. Uh, looking at this guy, they're just envisioning what they can do with him. I'm already thinking about it, and I don't, I'm not even into that kind of stuff. But, hmm, I guess you're a traveling trader. I like to see what's... I like what I see in your expression. Foo, foo, foo. I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. So I'm just going to walk away because... You know, we could, like, swap phone numbers and keep in contact that way, but no. I would be mysterious, because that's how I am, because I'm cool. Oh, my. What do I have visitors? Oh, let me just waddle around. Oh, you must be travelers. Welcome to Phoenix City. I'm SK, the mayor. Now you wanted to see me. Is there something I may be able to assist you with? Um. Oh, what may I do for a pretty young lady like you? I I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. Saw it. What did you see? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. Not that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine, and that Pokemon would attack people. Oh 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 my! Pokemon like a fighting machine, and it attacks people. Now if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. It is true, it is true, Mr. Mayor, because I saw a Pokemon and made a prisoner some frightened men until I was a little while ago. Oh, I see, I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor! Yay! Oh, no, no, there was no need for thanks. This is hurting my voice so much. Oh, my God, can we just get done with the dialogue and start, like, killing things? That would be fantastic. I ask that you give me a little time on this matter. I promise we'll get some useful information for you. Oh, yes. You appear to be the Pokemon trainers yourself. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and enjoy our Pokemon Stadium. It is breathtakingly beautiful stadium. Oh, this is, like, actually giving me a headache now. My brain hurts from like doing my voice like that so I actually don't remember what we're supposed to be doing now but he said to go to Pokemon Coliseum so let's give that a try I actually I'm pretty sure this like building right here I think this is like the only Pokemon gym like thing in the entire region so I think we challenge that later though so why I thought we had a bit of a cutscene there I guess not anyways let's go talk to the lady and enter the Phoenix City Coliseum this is where we register trainers for challenges. However, the current challenge has already started, so we can no longer accept trainers for this challenge. Please come back and enter. Oh, okay, that's cool. Not like I was, I was told to come here, miss. I'm just trying to do my job. Anyways, after we exit, we'll have a little cutscene with a bunch of goons. Hey, Hardy, we finally found you, you filthy double-crossing traitor. Wrecking the hideout wasn't good enough for you, so you ripped the snag machine. You've got some nerve. <clears throat> I hate doing female voices because my voice is so deep and I gotta try to make it like high pitch. Who are these people? Huh? Are they Team Snagum? And why did he mean by traitor? Hardy, you mean. That's right, pretty lady. He's from Team Snagum, just like us. Yeah, except I'm cool, unlike you, and I have hair. Just saying. 
But he's no ordinary member. He's a snagger. He's the best in Team Snagger and snagging Pokemon without fail. No way. Is this true, Hardy? Uh, no, of course not. Oh, you gritted your teeth, didn't you? Didn't you? Oh, you lied. It must be true. That's a little shocking. Hey, Hardy, come on, hand it over. Get back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. Snag machine? Hardy, do you really have something like that? The snag machine's built for trainers. When a trainer puts the snag machine in, their Pokeballs are converted. Ordinary Pokeballs are turned into snag balls, and they can steal Pokemon from the trainers in battle. Hey, you blabbermouth, keep that stuff secret. Because it's totally not like I could have just told her that. I mean, apparently I know everything about this. Just saying. I get it, Hardy. That's why these creeps are chasing after you. Creeps? What do you mean by that? Well, you're bald, weird-looking pedophiles chasing after a little girl. I think that's what she means by that. Yeah, this is, a, this is getting us nowhere. If you won't give it back willingly, we'll take it back by force. Because this is totally going to work. What do you have? Like, Wismers and Zigzagoons? I, I already beat those. Seriously, if, they, if he has a Wismer, don't you? Oh, good. He has a Corefish and a... I can't see the bottom of my screen. Coughing! <laughs> Actually, there's like a soda can blocking right where coughing was showing on my TV. So I had no idea what he was sending out. It was a mystery to me. But, um, this shouldn't be that difficult considering we are super effective against coughing. So I will let Espeon handle that. And then I don't think Umbreon will be able to one-shot, um, uh, Corfish. It's like, oh my god, what's his name? I have one in white platinum and I'm still too dumb to remember it. And a poor coughing. One thing I love, I love about, um... Coliseum and why I'm so excited about X and Y is like the 3D battling that you're watching right now. That's another reason why I, they also had this in Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2, but like the death animations, each Pokemon had like unique animations for like when they die and when they're sent into battle, and it's just so cool and I love it so much. I uh, like how Umbreon takes attack. No other Pokemon takes an attack like Umbreon, and Umbreon hops back and it's so adorable and I love it. And there's just some Pokemon that has like such cool animations and you just want to like, go hug them and like say, Be my friend, you're so adorable. And we just, we murdered a Corphish, so we are horrible people. But Espeon leveled up to 26. And um, I don't remember if we have to take on more than one trainer or that's just it. But we defeated Team Snagum Wacken. And, and each trainer has like, well, really boring animations actually. The, the trainers are like the most boring things in this game, which is kind of disappointing. Blast you, Hardy. Don't you think this is over? We're going to get that snag machine back. Just you wait. Okay, so only one of them's going to battle me. That's cool. Oh, well, what do you know? Hardy, you're from Team Snagum. All right, to be accurate, I should say former Team Snagum. That's okay. Hardy, it doesn't matter to me who you are. After all, you're my gallant prince who rescued me when I was in trouble. Can I just, like, throw her in the waterfall and just leave? I'd be okay with that. So it doesn't matter. Besides, I thought of... I thought up something after we listened to those creeps. Listen, Hardy, we should go shopping for some Pokeballs! Okay, well, we will do that next time on Pokemon Coliseum. We'll go get some Pokeballs. I believe we will also catch our first Shadow Pokemon, which will be up to you guys on whether it is Croconaw, Quilava, or Bayleaf. Tell me down in the... Actually, no, 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 no. We're not going to do it that way. Don't put it in the comments. In the description, there will be a link to a poll, a straw poll. You go there, vote for which starter Pokemon you want me to attempt to catch. I can't promise I will catch it because I kind of suck at life. Anyways, do that. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this series. And until next time, I'm Hardy Tag Yo-Yo. Peace!